Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams, and we're going to conduct a hypothesis test for a proportion. We're going to use a p-value approach and let Minitab do the work for us. Doctors nationally believe that 78% of a certain type of operation are successful. In a local hospital, 62 of these operations were observed, and 52 of them were successful. At an alpha equal to 0.05, is this hospital success rate different from the national average. We're going to gather up the information we need before we head over to Minitab. So N, or our sample size, was 62. And out of those 62, 52 of them had the characteristic we were interested in. This is our value of X. The hypothesized, or the established, proportion is 78%. So now we can come over and set up our null and alternative hypothesis. So we know that we're dealing with an established value of 78%. <clears throat> so now we need the signs for our null and alternative. And so all we're told is they're interested in a rate that is different from the national average. When we talk about this idea of a difference, it might be higher, it might be lower, which gives us an alternative hypothesis of not equal to. And the equal to will go in the null. And this is because <clears throat> our version of equal to always appears in the null, and we never have an equal to in the alternative. So if we were looking at this from another approach, we would have a two-tailed test because we are looking at evidence that the actual success rate is either higher or lower. <clears throat> so I'm over here in Minitab. I'm going to go to Stat, Basic Statistics. We're going to run a one proportion test. We don't have summarized data. So, I mean, we do have summarized data, sorry. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And the number of events we had was 52, <clears throat> and number of trials of 62. Hypothesized value of the proportion was 78%. And under options, we need to make sure we've got this set up right. So confidence interval is 95 because alpha was 0.05. Our alternative hypothesis is a not equal to, so it's a two-sided test. And as always, we're going to use a normal approximation. So I'm going to hit OK, and we've got our mini tab output. So we can see, as always, it gave us our descriptive statistics, but this is what we're interested in down here is this actual test that was run. And what we're looking for this time is our p-value. So I just want to remind you <clears throat> that this p-value, because it was not equal to, represents the area above and below this calculated z-value. So Minitab automatically doubles the p-value for a two-sided test with the alternative as not equal to. And so we got a p-value of 0.264, and we're going to hang on to that piece of information for a minute. So remember that our decision is made under the p-value approach, that when the p-value is greater than alpha, our decision is do not reject HO. The p-value is less than or equal to alpha, our decision is to reject HO. And the calculated p-value that Minitab gave us was 0.264. And clearly, 0.264 is considerably higher than our alpha of 0.05. So our p-value is greater than alpha. Our decision is do not reject HO. So when we come back down here, we can say that our decision will be do not reject HO. There is insufficient evidence to conclude that the success rate at this particular hospital is actually different. As always, I hope you found this useful, and thanks for watching.